Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good morning, Marilyn Hershey. Thank you so much for uh, being on the Valder BB Show today. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate being where, here. Okay, where are you calling from? Are you on your farm? I am on our dairy farm in southeastern Pennsylvania. Oh, how, how envious I am of you. I want my audience to know that I'm speaking with Marilyn Hershey. She owns and operates an 800 cow dairy farm in Pennsylvania. And she works with her husband, of course. Marilyn, I'm so excited. I want, because I need to know what are farmers doing to be sustainable? You know, farmers have been sustainable and changing sustainable practices for the past past years as far as I can remember. I think farmers were sustainable before it was even a buzzword. But uh, last year we took an extra step and uh, committed to being carbon neutral or better by the year 2050. That includes water quality, uh, water recycling, it includes on-farm practices and new technologies. One thing Dwayne and I did on our dairy farm is we put in a methane digester that will capture the methane from the cow's manure and convert it to electricity. We're able to uh, use uh, all, take care of all the electricity needs on our farm and also be able to sell some back to the grid. Uh, dairy farmers will also um, use digesters to convert to biofuel. And even though a digester is not something that happens on every dairy farm across the country, there are practices, both small and large, that farmers can do. Every farmer can do something, whether it's cover crops where uh, there is a, a crop planted in the field, it's a, it covers the ground and it will lay dormant for a while until the ground warms up. That way we can get more uh, we'll get two crops out of that land, not just one. This is so exciting with the technology that you guys are using on your farm and your innovative ideas. What is the future of farming innovations? Because you got to come up with new ideas in any industry. You, you know, that's exactly right. We really do. And when I think back the past 30 years, how far technology has come from when my parents and grandparents were farmers, um, to now, it gives me hope for the next 30 years. And you know that technology is happening at a very fast rate right now. And uh, so there are new practices that we have to find every year and that improve our efficiency, improve our farming style, that continue to take care of the land better than the year before and take care of the cows as well. You know, dairy farmers are so critical to the pieces that make up America. What are the farmers doing to address hunger in their communities, especially as people continue to be food insecure or live in food desert? You know, that's a great question. And last year that brought us, that brought, that was brought forefront for us um, with the pandemic. And thankfully we had a relationship prior to uh, the pandemic with Feeding America and we were able to uh, pivot to them, we're able to focus on them, get more milk into food banks than we ever did before. Uh, we were able to focus on schools and how do we get dairy and milk into the hands of children even though you know they're not in the school system. So there were a lot of things, new ways that we had to figure out how to get that nutrition uh, because dairy is just an incredible nutrition for for anybody uh, in any age, but especially children um, and get that high quality protein to them. So it's very important that we figure out how to focus and, and work with Feeding America and the school systems. 
Marilyn, I know you work hard, uh, um, especially when you love your job. But you know, I was reading food takes up more space in U.S. landfills than anything else. How can we not be so wasteful? Talk to my audience. You know, that's, that is a really good point. One thing we have done with our methane digester is we are able to take food waste that would typically be going to a landfill and we're able to take that, run it through our digester. It captures the methane off of that food and it's converted to electricity. So there are ways, uh, there are ways that we can uh, have sustainable practices uh, last year, we started um, taking produce from uh, the local produce auction, and we, we actually feed that to our cows and feed it to our, our, um, our younger animals. And they love it. You know, they love it when there's uh, papayas or there's mangoes or pumpkins or anything out there. Uh, they, they, they go after that food. We're listening to you, and you're giving us information. You know, without food, we don't survive. What can we do to support you as a farmer and sustainable farming? Uh, continue to, uh, to eat dairy, continue to eat cheese, yogurt, uh, drink your milk. You know, there's, it's such a great protein to have. Um, and it's so important for the nutritional needs of our diet to consume that dairy. So that's one way. Uh, the other way is you, if you have questions or you hear things, um, talk to a farmer, try to find a farmer, uh, visit the farm, ask them the questions. I think when people get to know farmers, they really understand how much we care for the animals, we care for our land, uh, and, and we care very much about uh, the nutritional food that we're, that we're making on our farm. Well, I want my audience to care about your information. Where do you send them online, Marilyn? Uh, USDairy.com slash sustainability is a good website for us to have, for you to have. Thanks for taking time from your fun job. I'm envious once again, but thanks for being here on the Valder BB show. Oh, you come visit anytime. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, Pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.